In this problem, we're given the number of members is growing according to a linear growth model. The initial number of members is p sub zero equals 12. After seven weeks, the number of members is p sub seven equals 75. We're asked to write the explicit formula for the number of members, p sub n, after n weeks. This would be the formula p sub n equals p sub zero plus d times n, where p sub zero is the initial or starting amount, which we know is 12. D is the common difference, which we'll have to find, and N would be the number of weeks. So we can determine the common difference two ways. We can use this explicit equation here, and let P sub N equal P sub seven, which we know is equal to 75. This means we can substitute 75 for P sub N, as long as we substitute seven for N. We can also determine the common difference by determining the change in the population, or in this case, the change in the number of members over the seven weeks, divided by the change in time, which in this case would be the change in the number of weeks. And we'll go ahead and show this both ways. But first, using the explicit equation p sub n equals p sub zero plus d times n, because we know p sub seven equals 75, we'll substitute 75 for p sub n and seven for n. So we'd have 75 equals p sub zero we know is 12, plus we don't know d, but we know n is equal to seven if we set p sub n equal to 75. So here we have d times seven, or seven d. Solving for d, we'd subtract 12 on both sides, giving us 63 equals seven d, dividing both sides by seven. Simplifying, notice here we have d equals 63 divided by seven, which equals nine. So this is our common difference. Let's also show how to find this using our formula, the change in the population divided by the change in time. So the common difference D can also be found by, notice how the change in the population over these seven weeks would be 75 minus 12. The change in the number of weeks would be seven minus zero. Simplifying, we have 63 divided by seven, which also equals nine. This formula here might look familiar to you. This is the same formula used in order to find the slope of a line passing through two points. So both methods are valid. Either way, we have the explicit equation or explicit formula, p sub n equals p sub zero, which we know is 12, plus d times n, which we now know would be nine times n or nine n. Before we look at our next question though, let's look at this graphically. On the coordinate plane, p sub zero equals 12 corresponds to the ordered pair zero comma 12, and p sub seven equals 75 corresponds to the ordered pair seven comma 75. If we were to graph the explicit equation that we just found, it would be this blue line passing through these two points. And the common difference d would be the slope of this blue line. You may remember from a previous math class, if you wanted to find the slope of a line passing through two points, we used the equation m for slope equals y sub two minus y sub one divided by x sub two minus x sub one, which in this case we could call these the ones, x sub one comma y sub one, and these the twos, x sub two comma y sub two, and the slope is equal to nine, the same as the common difference. And now for the second question, after how many weeks will the number of members reach 228? To answer this question, we'll substitute 228 for p sub n and solve for n. So we'd have 228 equals 12 plus nine n. And now we solve for n, we subtract 12 on both sides. That give us 216 equals nine n, dividing both sides by nine, n equals 216 divided by nine is equal to 24. So as a sentence, we would say, after 24 weeks, the number of members will reach 228. I hope you found this helpful.